France 24's Clovis Casali is standing by outside the French National Assembly and we can go across to him now. Clovis, good afternoon to you. Uh, talk us through some of the political reactions we are getting to Emmanuel Macron's announcement. Clearly, uh, President Emmanuel Macron has surprised, if not shocked, many, even in his own ranks. One MP actually quit politics, saying uh, he did not believe this was the right decision and was only going to enable the French far right from getting into power. The president of the National Assembly, who's also one of his allies, uh, said there was an alternative, another way, and therefore clearly questioning uh, his decision. Uh, the mayor of Paris, Anne Hidalgo, who's an opponent, she's a socialist, of course, Anne Hidalgo, saying this decision was troubling uh, ahead of the Olympics because the second round of the election will be taking place a few uh, days, a few weeks, should I say, before the Olympic Games, and therefore uh, she clearly says it was the wrong decision. And then, on the other hand, we spoke to an MP for uh, French citizens overseas. She's called Eleonore Carwa. She supports Emmanuel Macron, and she supports his move. Take a listen. Did Emmanuel Macron do this? I think he was responding to the votes of um, the French constituents that decided to elect um, a majority of uh, far right. And I think it w it's also a way to say, well, you have the power, you can vote and determine what you want, what government you want to have um, in July. So go and vote. Is it not very risky? It might be, but I think it, it's never a bad thing to give the power to the people to express their opinions, to express their will. So I am uh, calm today and, uh, and willing to go and uh, make a good fight. Okay, there was a member of Emmanuel Macron's own party saying that this, well, it could be a risky move, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Clovis, now there are just 20 days left for this vote, a lot to do for every political party across the spectrum in the run-up to these elections, including forming coalitions. Indeed, only 20 days to do all the necessary, much-needed campaigning and also for negotiations. Uh, take the left wing. The left wing, who still believes if it is united, it could win the uh, coming parliamentary elections and prevent the French far right from getting into power. On all sides of the left wing, uh, you've got uh, figures saying we need to negotiate and also form a bloc. You've got uh, the uh, leader of France en bas, Jean-Luc Mélenchon, who's infuriated and angered many on the left wing, socialists and Greens in the past, and with whom it will be difficult to um, conclude an alliance, but possibly a necessary alliance. Jean-Luc Mélenchon saying a union is needed urgently and it needs to be strong. Sandrine Rousseau from the Green Party uh, also saying we only have a few hours uh, to get uh, a deal uh, to form this bloc. And you've got figures also from the socialists, um, such as Olivier Faure, uh, saying that a new Front Populaire, a popular front, is needed. In other words, all these left-wing parties, socialists, Greens, France en bas, the radical left, want to uh, form a bloc in order to uh, appear come united in these parliamentary elections and stand a chance of winning. And then you've got, of course, the national rally. The national rally, the big winner of the EU elections, finishing with nearly twice the amount of votes President Macron's side got. While they're saying, we're strong, the French people backed our ideas, showed they wanted an alternative to President Macron. We're the alternative. We're not going to make any deal with other parties, but we will conclude deals with individuals, depending on the constituencies, depending on the values. In other words, they do want to attract right-wing figures. Will they be able to do so? All this negotiating, all these negotiations are set to take place in the uh, coming days in order to see which blocs are uh, opposing who and to see, of course, um, what the situation is uh, before the uh, vote of the first round of the parliamentary elections. That's on June 30th. Clovis, thank you very much for that. Clovis Casale reporting there from inside the National Assembly, which has been dissolved by the president.